Hey teachers and students, my name is Miss Roberts, also known as Brittany from Teach Blog Travel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to join, create, and enter a Google Classroom from your cell phone or tablet. Now it is important to note a couple of different things before we get started. First of all, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step on an Android smartphone. The steps will look slightly different if you're using an Apple phone, but not entirely. So the first thing you'll want to do when accessing Google Classroom from your smartphone or tablet is to download the app. I'm using an Android phone, so I'm going to go to the Play Store and I am going to just go to the search bar and type in Google Classroom. And you'll see that the first icon that shows up is the Google Classroom icon. I already have the app installed, but if you don't have it downloaded and installed already, you'll want to do that now. I'm going to go ahead and update it since it's prompting me to do so. Once you have it fully installed onto your phone, you can click open. Make sure that you are logged into the right Gmail. As you can see, I can't see any of my classes for students right now. I can only see the Google Classroom crash course, which is for teachers. To make sure I'm logged into the right email, I'm going to click those buttons on the top left-hand side, and I, I can see the email at the top of the screen. If you click that arrow next to my email, it gives you a drop-down menu showing all the different Gmail accounts that are logged in. When I click on my email with this school, which is the one I have associated with my Google Classroom, I should be able to see all of the classes related to that account. And there they populate all up on the screen. So if you're a teacher, you can see all of the classes from your cell phone. If you're a student, you can see all of the classrooms that you are in. Once you find the class you want to go to, simply click on the course and you should be able to get right into your stream. The stream is like a social network or Facebook feed. It's where teachers and students post. The Classwork tab will show you any assignments you have due. I haven't uploaded any assignments to this class yet. And finally, People is where you can add additional teachers or students. And that's pretty much it. That's how you enter a Google Classroom that you're already joined to. If you need to join or create a new Google Classroom, simply go to the plus on the upper right-hand side. You can either click Join Class and enter the class code, or you can click that same plus and create class to create a new one. And that is pretty much it. In this video, you've learned how to join a Google Classroom, how to create a Google Classroom, and how to enter a Google Classroom you've already joined from your Android smartphone or tablet. Like I said, it is going to look a little bit different if you're using an iPad or an iPhone or any kind of Apple device. The process is pretty much the same. One, make sure you're connected to the internet. Two, go to your app store. Three, search for the Google Classroom app and download it. Four, enter the Google Classroom app. Five, make sure you're logged in to the right Gmail account. And if not, add the account or get logged in. You'll be taken to your screen. And from there, you either click on the classroom that you're already enrolled in or click the plus to join the class. And that's pretty much it. Again, I'm Miss Roberts, also known as Brittany from Teach Blog Travel. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the little bell so that you never miss a notification when a new video is posted. If you need additional support, you'll see the QR code at the end of this video. Just take your smartphone, open up your camera, point it at the code, and you'll be able to get my contact information saved to your phone immediately. That would be really great help for your teacher if they need additional support. You can also find support at teachblogtravel.com. I hope that was helpful. Until next time.